hallelujah praise the lord we thank god for another new day welcome to this day the 19th of september 2020 today is sunday happy sunday to you hope you go to church today or hope you're on your way to church or maybe you're back from church and you're watching me good morning to you good afternoon good evening whatever you're watching may god bless you in the name of jesus let's pray lord we bless you we give you glory honor adoration we thank you father lord for this beautiful day for this is the day the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it lord we rejoice in this day and we thank you father for life for breath oh lord we give you glory blessed be your holy name honor to your name adoration to your name thank you for defeating the powers of darkness that is against our life oh lord thank you for prevailing over satan thank you lord for giving us victory blessed be your holy name in the name of jesus amen father we enter into this new week with joy with peace with grace of God and in your presence here to eat your word father we enter into this new week in your presence receiving your word oh lord we are here to receive from you oh lord speak to us oh god oh lord speak to us to heal us to deliver us to empower us oh god in the name of jesus amen be thou exalted lord i decrease oh lord increase and speak through my mouth oh god to to deliver somebody to bless somebody oh god oh lord to fix that puzzle that missing puzzle oh lord in in the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Father. I bless you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Lord, you are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are my Father, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. Oh, you will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, Lord, that is your name. That is your name, Lord. You are Almighty God. You will never share your glory, Lord. We will not touch your glory. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all adoration, praises, worship be to your glorious name, Father, forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. We have an interesting topic today. It says, live joyfully with your spouse all the days of your life say amen amen this is a declaration this is a prayer live joyfully live joyfully with your spouse all the days of your life amen amen this is by pastor porica the international director of the holiness river movement worldwide short form Horemon. and we are taking every word of god for daily living amen sunday september 19 2021 we are glad to see this day to god be glory in jesus name amen amen our test is taken from the book of proverbs chapter 5 verse 18 and 19 let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth let her be as a loving hand and a pleasant role let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love amen be ravished always with the love of your wife amen amen he didn't say be ravished with the love of somebody else he didn't say be ravished with the love of your girlfriend he didn't say be, be, be ravished with the love of your second wife he says be ravished with the with, with the love of your wife one wife one man let me add my 
child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With your wife at home. Amen. Amen. Whether she has given birth and her breast is already down or whether her butt is down, be ravished with her love. Be ravished with her love. Buy bra for her to pack it. Look at the Bible says. What the Bible says? It said, let her breast satisfy thee. Yes, this is, it is in this place we can discuss some such uh, things like this. It is not when you are married. Say, let the bed not be defiled. Let it not be defiled. Don't defile your bed. Our key verse is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 9. It says, live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life, of the days of the life of thy vanity, which he had given thee under the sun all the days of thy vanity, for that is thy portion in this life. So your wife is your portion. Hallelujah. For that is thy portion in this life and in thy labor which thou takest under the sun. Amen. Amen. So it's not that money you are pursuing. It's not whatsoever you are pursuing. It is thy wife that is thy portion. Yes, because when you get money or if you if you have a good wife, whether you have money or you don't have money, whether you are able to get that contract or not, when you come back home, she encourages you. She says, oh, it is well. God will do it. It's well, honey. It is well. Don't don't matter. Don't worry. It, it shall be well. Hallelujah. So thy wife is thy portion. Amen. Amen. And I take the reading. It says, You have to pray because some get married and love was not there. For some, the women are forced on him, or the man was forced on her. Love was not involved at all. In fact, charm was used on some to buy them over demonically. They got married and later came to discover, oh, love did not bring me here. I was kin- I was kidnapped. <laughs> I am in the hand of the husband that kidnapped me. Oh no. Or oh, I am in the hand of a wife that kidnapped me. <laughs> Whatever the circumstance is that that brought you in this marriage, into that marriage that you are into, you have found out that you are bonded to a spouse you are not in love with. What do you do in this circumstance? That's a question. What do you do in this circumstance? We see different circumstances. One that was kidnapped into the... Ah, how can somebody get kidnapped into the marriage? That's funny. And one was forced into the marriage. Oh, another lo- married out without love. So this is this is this is coming to 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 our the ones that are not married. Before you get married, pray. Look at that man. Is he man that you love? Is it the right will of God for your life? Is it the one that 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 you desire? Is it the one that you can stay with? So you look at all these circumstances around before you go and get into marriage, so that you don't be like the one that they kidnap. You. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. This is interesting. I read on. Remember that the Bible. Bible says, while we were yet sinners, God loved us. Yes, we did not love God initially, but after we came to God, we we requested him. We requested him to fill us with himself. Yes, after you came to God, you requested him that he fills you with himself. Hence, we now love God so passionately because God has filled us with himself. Amen. Amen. You must forgive get the past and you must forgive the past forgive the past and pray for love to take over your life otherwise you will miss it in life forgive the past over that woman forgive the past over that man then go to god who fills us with love and call that woman by her name call that woman by her name call that man by his name before god and tell god actually i do not love this woman or man but fill me with your love that i may love him that i may love her call that man by 
by his name before God and say, actually, I do not love this man, but marriage just came. God can, God, can you give me love for him? Or can you give me love for my wife? I know that this relationship will not be smooth and enjoyable without love. And I will not get satisfaction from it. I will just be wondering and hurting myself. <laughs> Lord, give me love for my wife. Or give me love for my husband. If you ask God for this love, God who made the promise below will answer you. Matthew chapter 7 verses 7 to 11 says, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth and, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. It, I, I take that again. And he that knocked it shall be open or what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread will he give him a stone or if he asks a fish will he give him a serpent if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things Love is that thing to them that ask him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 This is talking to married couples. Maybe you made mistake. Maybe you married because of money. Oh, the man have money. Oh, hey, you enter. And then the man's business knock. No more money again. You start seeing that you don't even love the man. Oh, this woman is so beautiful. Hey, you marry her. After she give birth to one, two, her breast drop. The face goes somewhere else. <laughs> or she gets, she added up. Maybe she was so skinny. And then she added up and the beauty is no longer there. And then you say, oh, what I love, I, I'm not seeing again. Maybe you married. Maybe you were forced into that marriage. Ah, your father said, oh, when you people will lead you, you were betrothed. Oh, oh, you have to marry. You have to marry. This is family thing. To please your father, you married a wrong man. Oh, like a To please your mother, you married a wrong woman. Oh, no, no, no. And you enter the marriage and it's not just working. You see her characters. It doesn't suit you. You don't even love her. Even when she does her best, even when he does his best, buy you all the gifts, you just receive it just for receiving sake, but you still don't love him. God is calling you to him today. There is a need to pray because we see in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verses 7 to 11 that whatsoever we ask, God can do it. It's not too late until you die, my dear, because you can ask anything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and it can be done even in that situation of marriage. Yes, you did it with your pride. Oh yes, but now you have come to your senses that, oh no, I have married the wrong man oh because of money i went into this marriage and look at what i'm suffering now god can come into that situation god can still hear your prayer god can still answer you knock into the doors of heaven pray ask and seek god and you will find in jesus name amen let me talk a little to the unmarried this is talking to the married yeah to those who have already entered into marriage already entered it's once for life as far as you're married your husband is not yet married and then you married him and you are the first wife of your of your husband it is you are in for life whether you are you are married to a woman and she have not married before you have not married before it is you you two are the first and now it seems as if it's not working you are in for life divorce is wrong you can not divorce her it's just only to look for a way out a way out a way you can stay together a way you can be together for life divorce is not a choice because it is sin i don't care what your pastor say that if it's not sin my dear according to the word of god it is sin it is sin if you divorce except maybe that man or woman is beating you here and they're blue and black for your life's sake you can separate but remain unmarried that is what the bible says 
remain unmarried in some conditions not in every condition just because the man don't buy shit for you oh, I'm, I'm 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 going to divorce that means in fact you don't even know what is marriage so to those that are unmarried my dear don't jump into any marriage oh look at him he's on facebook look at his swag look at his height look at his hair oh, oh holy man here yeah, look at the way he's preaching Look at sister. A lot of men have been asking me, oh, hey, my sister, my friend, my cute sister, my wonderful sister, my dear. I am married with three beautiful children to the glory of God. And it's for life forever and ever in Jesus' name. We'll go to heaven together for your information. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So to you that are married, pray for God to give you that partner. Pray for God to give you that man. Pray for God to give you that woman that is suitable to you, that you will love genuinely. The agape love of God, the wonderful love of God that will reign in your heart. Not loving material things. Not loving the man for what he have or for his height. Oh, I like a doctor. Oh, you know now. The one that knows how to wear suit. It is not that one that you look at in getting married. You look at if the man have hearts for God. You look at if the man is a man of God. You look at if the man is a child of God before you go ahead to choose. You see this text? How can somebody say, I was kidnapped into the marriage? We don't want to be kidnapped into marriage, but my dear, if you are in such situation, God is calling you. You can still knock into the doors of heaven. There's still a way out. There's still a way out. A way out is to pray. And to pray is to get answers to stay in. My dear, there's no way out until you die hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah 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 may the lord hear your prayers may the lord answer you may the lord give you the grace to seek his face to seek his face concerning that issues maybe you love this man so much and he's cheating maybe you love this woman so much and and she's cheating so it's not just about uh, uh, only feeling stuff maybe for you in your side you are very good but you just want bad behavior on the other my dear take your husband to the lord take your wife to the lord the heart of kings is in the hands of god there is nothing god cannot do yes what god does i say he does it wonderfully he does it perfectly he does it wonderfully yes god is the one that does everything perfectly so go to god concerning your marriage situation bring god bring bring your husband to god bring your wife to god if you are married be that situation oh god i need a man bring it to god and god will hear you god will answer you god will take away your he will wipe away your tears and take away your sorrow in the name of jesus amen Let's pray these prayers. We are already at the end of our day devotional. The thought says, thought for the day says, for the sake of heaven, pray that God will put the love of your spouse in your heart. For the sake of heaven. If you don't have that the love for your spouse in your heart, you may be looking at other spouses outside. You may be looking at other men and other women outside. And the Bible says if you have looked at a woman lusting in your heart, you have already done adultery. So we have to be very, very careful. It is a necessity. Take it before God. People will say, ah, because he'll be able to put love in my heart, there's nothing God cannot do. There's nothing. In this reading, we saw that God puts his love in our heart it makes us to know him thereby we love him for who he is so god can make your eyes to be open to this good character and the sweetness in your husband and your wife that your love for him or her begin to spring forth so there's nothing god cannot do take heart to god take him to god and god will hear you god will answer you in jesus name we pray amen 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 i want us to pray this prayer point that is he said i will read back so that we can we can find the prayer point he said i will just be wondering and holding myself lord give me yeah this is the prayer point he said lord give me love for my wife or love for my husband let's pray in the name of jesus lord increase my love if you have love before say lord increase my love for my husband increase my love for my wife begin to pray in the name of jesus lord i pray for that sister for that brother that is facing that situation in the home oh lord i pray that you increase their love oh god oh lord increase that brother's heart for the love the love in the in his heart for the wife increase the wife heart oh god for the husband oh lord i pray oh lord in the name of jesus lord we are praying oh god for restoration in marriage love in marriage your peace in marriage let the demoness and the demon or against marriages be broken I 
bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. You foul demoness, I bind you in the name of Jesus. You forces of darkness against marriage, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirit of divorce going on in the air, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for the spirit of love to reign in the hearts of the children of God. Oh, love of God, love for one another. For God has commanded us to love, God has commanded the men to love the wife and the woman to submit. I pray, oh God, for this grace for marriages in the name of Jesus. Amen. That every home, anyone that is looking at me right now, any home that is breaking, Father Lord, I pray that by your mercy, oh God, you will met, oh God, you will bring those marriages together, you will bring those hearts back together in the name of Jesus. I break those powers of darkness against their marriage, they shall not prevail, neither shall they prosper by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Restoration in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Father. I bless you, Lord. Be exalted forever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. Thank you, Lord, for healing in marriage. Thank you for restoration of love back to our hearts. Oh, God, back to every heart. Blessed be your name, Lord. Even as we pray for love for our spouse, I pray for love, God's love. God's love. Cause your people to know you. Cause them to know you personally, Lord. To seek you, to seek your knowledge, oh God. That your love may reign in all our hearts, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We give God all the glory. We give God all the praises. Remember today, whatsoever you ask, you will receive. There's nothing God cannot do. And we give God glory for we have come to the end of our devotional. Praise to God. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful Sunday. Make sure you go to church. Make sure you listen to the word of God. And make sure you live according to the word of God. In Jesus name. God bless you. Stay tuned. Amen.